Hi everyone, I'm Paul Parmelo. This is my 2014 Victory Cross Country Tour. You know, it doesn't matter what type of bike you ride. It is vital that it be in tip-top shape in order to return you home safely. And nothing is more important than tires and tire pressure. For me, I check my tire pressure every single time I get on the bike, no matter where I am. But I certainly don't lie on the ground underneath it and check it with a gauge. No. Four years ago, I installed a tire pressure monitoring system. And at the time, I only had one stipulation, that it was sending pressure readings 24-7. Some systems go to sleep and will only wake up when your wheels are turning. So you're not going to know what your pressure is until you're riding down the road. But for me, I just want to be able to know what my pressures are before I even get on the bike. Currently, on this bike, I'm using the Doran 360M, but it's coming up to its end of life. Let me show you what I mean. These are the Doran sensors. They are totally enclosed and sealed. The company says they do that to prevent water and dust from getting inside. I took an old one and I cut it open and inside it is the circuit board and a 2032 uh, watch battery. That means 20 millimeters in diameter and 3.2 millimeters uh, thick. Very common batteries, easy to get, but unfortunately you can't change it in this sensor without destroying it. And so far for me, these sensors would only last a year, maybe two, if you're lucky. And those sensors run $40 US each. I live in Canada. By the time I get it up here, it's costing me $60 Canadian for each sensor. I have currently gone through five sensors in the past four years. And now I hear that the company no longer produces sensors for motorcycles. But it was good while it lasted. It's just time to move on. And now I have two stipulations. One, live pressure readings 24-7, and two, replaceable batteries. So for me right now, I'm going to try the FOBO system. Let me show you what those sensors look like. These are the FOBO Bike 2 sensors. I got three of them because I also want to monitor the pressure in my shock. You can see you take the cover off and there's a battery inside. These are 1632 batteries, so a little smaller. They're only 16 millimeters in diameter compared to the other ones. Readily available batteries. They also work on Bluetooth, which means you're going to use an app on your phone. Simply open up your Fobo Bike 2 app. You're going to want to add a bike. You have multiple to choose from trikes and spiders and sidecars, four-wheelers, trailers, even a unicycle. For me, I'm going to choose the bike with the air shock. And then you simply follow the instructions. Very easy to hook up, give it a name, tell it what pressures you want, and install the shocks when it tells you. So now, I'm going to know instantly what the pressures are inside my tires and my shock while I'm inside the house getting ready to go for a ride. Thank you very much for joining me today on another one of my videos. Ride safe, have fun, and I'll see you next time.